You found a vulnerable guy who had just moved to town. You're you're tempting him with a good-looking guy, and you're asking for pictures, and then you're gonna blame the person that you're seducing. Well, none of our you're shaming was him for shaming. falling into but a trap. We've gotten an email that says, "Gotta catch my heart." I'm in. My name is Marvin. I'm 22, and I live in Joplin, Missouri. I've been away for basic training in the National Guard for the last two years. Wow, that's exciting. I was trying to meet new people on social media, hoping that I'd hit it off with someone. All the guys I encountered only wanted sex, until I met this handsome guy named Austin on Grindr. We took a liking to each other and realized we had something in common. We were both new in town. I learned that he was a model. That's not good. Yeah. I learned that he was a model, but that's not what attracted me to him. It was his silly jokes and his outgoing nature that stood out to me. I was trying to like make some new friends and uh, I met Austin. It started off on Grindr. We flirted here and there. We've actually transferred phone numbers. So I got a chance to speak to him and text him. We've been talking three months now. That's a long time to talk to someone who's in the same town as you and not meet them. He's always busy when I give him the chance. It's, it's always something. When you go on Grindr, isn't it all like geo-located? Like, are, can't you kind of like see if he's in the area? It's at two miles from me. Oh my gosh, so, you could walk to him. Yeah. Hi there. Well, are you Kurt? Yeah, I'm Kurt. I want to introduce you to Marvin. Hi there. I'm Kurt. Kurt. Why'd you lie to me? Well, I, you weren't really talking to me. But you were actually talking with Kylie. Originally, the profile was created to, to bust cheaters. <laughs> that was the entire... That was the intent. Well, I wasn't cheating on anyone. You unfortunately got caught in the crossfire and we started talking to you quite a bit. And um, I guess we liked you. How did you guys do it? I made the Facebook profile. I didn't talk to anyone on any of the profiles. So that was just highly, she liked talking to Marvin. Even though we have hurt you, we really care about you. That's it? That's all you guys got? How many other Marvins are there? There was probably only about 10 to 15 that held conversations. Wait, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. And 15 Marvins. No, no, I no wouldn't you talk to them. You're the only person we have a friendship with. But that's, well, it depends what you call a friendship. Just for morbid curiosity, what did you do when you found out that someone was kind of flirting extracurricularly? Did you out them? We outed one person. So one person for all the Marvins and whoever else you guys were dragging through this, you got one person? Yes. It's a lot of collateral damage, don't you think, for, for one, one right. victory? I feel like I've been tormented for the past three months. Y'all playing with my feelings. What made you think that all this was real? I don't know, I was giving it a chance. It, it's not fair, it's not fair that I get taunted with saying, why do you think this is real? Why are you making this account? Yeah, I, I, I don't understand the question. Why wouldn't he think this was real? Do you really think that somebody like that would live here? That's not what we're talking that's, about. That's, 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 that's not. I wouldn't be so ready to be sending pictures and stuff like that. And You're not about to blame the victim here, are you? Because that sounds like where you're going with no, this, and that would no. be really f up. I think that's what he needs to know. Well, well I think he can not, come to that his own conclusion himself. Right. That's yeah, not your not job. In, you're not in the position to teach him any lessons right now. Then why do you show your pictures and stuff like you that? You entrapped like, him. I get it. Yeah, really am I in crazy I get it. world? I because I want you to listen. Like, but that's what I want you to know for me. That's the reason why I'm I understand what you're saying. At least I am honest. You found a vulnerable guy who had just moved to town. You're, you're tempting him with a good-looking guy, and you're asking for pictures, and then you're gonna blame the person that you're seducing? Well, none of our You're shaming him shaming. for falling into but a trap. I don't feel like anything we could say to you is gonna... Make you feel any make better. Make you feel better. And that's probably correct. All right. Goodbye. Bye, guys.